Good morning. We are here back again. Feels like I just literally just changed <laughs> positions and moved to the office. <laughs> and we're here. I'm so delighted here on the Regina Rosa Celeste show talking about health and wellness. And I'm here with one of my amazing new friends, Scott Mandek, who is an awesome, awesome person and amazing, I would say, entrepreneur and such a visionary when it comes to natural health and wellness and has really you know blown blown my lid of what's possible when it comes to health and wellness and um, recreating the story of what's possible with natural health so scott thank you so much for being with me today thanks and, pretty lady for having me uh yeah absolutely i feel very uh very blessed because we met in such a, a a fun and kind of swift way and it yeah. was like instant it was like oh my god like <clears throat> That's up to some cool stuff. I want to be part of that. And yeah. little did I know I was already doing some of it. So yeah, it's pretty no, neat. Exactly. It, it's just the way the universe speaks, right? It does. It yeah, does. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. So yeah. now we're in this amazing healthcare journey with this awesome, peaceful pivot health and wellness conference tomorrow. It's going to be, it's going to be really exciting. So really appreciate you having me on the, uh, the conference as well. So thank you once again. It's going to be really exciting. Lots of good speakers coming tomorrow. Um, from 12 to 5:30, right? With the happy hour at the end, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. So it's gonna be. I'm really excited to hear the other speakers as well. It's uh, it's always a learning curve when it comes to self-directed healthcare, right? And you and I talk about this a lot. And it's super super important to really do your own research when it comes to natural wellness and just self-directed healthcare. Really, is mm -hmm. we have so many modalities around us. That we have access to and i was just talking about this yesterday it's funny because i'd like to get your take on it isn't it weird that we have the amazing technology that we have today all these different modalities around the world so you have western medicine holistic health care and everything in between but none of them talk to each other mm. isn't that weird <clears throat> like so if, if i walked into my family practitioner or if I walked into my chiropractor, or if I walked into to get an MRI, or a CAT scan, or blood work, there's one system that could actually communicate all that information about Scott Manduck. Boom, there's your package. That really doesn't exist, right? Not so yet. when you're really dealing with chronic, chronic illnesses, it's really hard to really, you're kind of that person to take care of all those notes, put stuff together, and bring your package over to the next practitioner that you're seeing kind of vomit all the stuff that you've been doing over the past few years to try to self-help, right? So it's it's funny that we were just talking about that yesterday. And it's, then it comes, brings me back to, once again, preventative healthcare, self-directed healthcare. You really got to take a lot of the stuff into your own hands with a stream of caution that obviously talk to your practitioners and stuff like that, but really try to prevent a lot of the stuff. And that's where we go into... Um, where we kind of, our family nine and a half years ago kind of had a, a pivot. I'm going to use that word because it's such a good word for it. It is a good um, word. Literally a pivot. So much, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. So we had this amazing pivot, which was for the worse, but it's actually way for the better because, and my, my wife um, wasn't feeling the best nine and a half years ago. We'll call it what it is with some really odd symptoms. And we went down this health journey and we used Dr. Google, Dr. Facebook, and we went down there and we, we went down the rabbit holes as well as seeing all the different modalities and the different um, practitioners around us and asking lots of questions and just never giving up. And we went, the big one was inflammation, like in our body, right? Everyone, so we talked, yeah. we talked about this before as well as like inflammation in our body is super, super important. You do need it right? In a sense, if you turn your ankle, whatever it may be, right, you do need a little bit of inflammation in your body to help deal with that. So blood flow is going to go there and all that sort of good stuff. But the other inflammation I'm talking about is like gut inflammation, right, which causes so many more bodily harm things in our body that turn out to be ailments. That is a simple way you eat. And I'm not saying only eat vegetarian, only eat meat or vice versa, or only have the keto diet. It's your body is different to others. You need to figure that part out, right? So look, look at informational foods, look at high oxalate foods, right? This will help reduce the inflammation within your body. And with that story came 
our teeth, right? Um, I'm not sure if you and I even talked about this, but um, with my wife's journey, have you ever have you ever seen the documentary called The Root Cause? No. Oh, Gina, you gotta write that one down. That's such a good one. Um, oh, Cause it's, it's the weirdest thing ever. And I had no idea that your teeth are literally like the breakers to your body. Oh and yeah, like, I've heard that, yeah. Right? Like, and I was like, so what the hell are you talking about? They're your teeth, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, brush your teeth, flush your teeth, blah, blah, blah. But when you have like a root canal, right? Which my wife had two, six years, just over six years ago. I think it was six years ago now. What happens is at the end of the, they take out the tooth, they take out the roots, they put a couple screws in. We'll make it very simple for people, right? And at, at the end of it, they leave a small little gap. But that gap, it's in a moist and warm environment. And there's a hole in your body. It's a breeding ground for bacteria, which we did not really know any of this information. So that documentary really opened the can of worms for us because we did a, a thing called a cone scan. And that cone scan basically showed us that she had a bunch of bacteria growing in her body. Oh. Right. And that was a big part of us finding more of a holistic way of dealing with things because we went to go see a holistic dentist to get it extracted. So we actually had it extracted. We actually found bacteria the size of my pinky nail attached to the actual screws that were lodged in her jaw. Wow. wow. It was like, what? Exactly. So then we had them extract. We had this thing in our hands. It was like, what the heck is this thing? It's like, are you kidding me? It's out of a movie. So we actually had it sent to the States to get a biopsy done of that tooth. What we found was, I think it was 16 different types of bacteria that are not good for you that was lodged in that, which were then like half a millimeter away from her sinuses, which were leaching into her body for six years. Wow. So that pushes her body into a fight or flight state, which is really That's difficult awesome. because now your body, well, when it's in that state, it's really hard for it to heal itself, right? Because our bodies, as, as we know, it's, it's designed to heal itself. Mm -hmm. They're so like, powerful. It's like, what the heck? So that's when a good friend of ours, Tamara, introduced us to essential oils. And we're like, wow, okay, this is kind of neat. And I'm like, nah, what is this snake oil stuff? What is this witchcraft <laughs> stuff? We don't need any of this crap, right? It's like you push it off because you went through so much and you just disregard something that's super powerful that you don't know about. And it's like, no, I just want to stick with what I think we know is working. So my point to that is keep, keep an open mind to different modalities, to different types of healing, because your body needs these natural ways to self-heal, right? These things may not be healing you, but it's giving your body the opportunity to heal itself. And that's, and, and that was the key. What I love about that story, Scott, is it's so, it's so simple. simple. Like you said it's so simple not to do something new because we're we're like creatures of habit, right? Like we Absolutely. get used to something that we just do. It. And it's so interesting to me to hear you say that because I see how passionate you are about natural mm -hmm. health. So to yeah. hear you have ever been anything different is like foreign to me, you know. Perfect. And at the same time, I get it, like. I mean, it's so simple. Like you just go to the dentist, you get like a basic, you know, routine checkup. And there's all these things that mm -hmm. happen. Like if I didn't go through what I went through last year with my family, I wouldn't believe it either. Exactly. And yeah. that's why I'm, mm -hmm. I know you are too. That's why we're so passionate about this work is because it's like people really do have options. People really do have opportunities to direct their own health. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and the cool part is, is we do have those options and you got to be, I'm going to be one of those. I was one of those people is like, no, we don't want this. And you shut that door very quickly because you didn't believe until you have a moment. When I say that it's a moment, that means it's like, it's like that um, aha moment. It's like, holy crap. Are you kidding me? That stuff actually works. Are you kidding me? It's like, mm -hmm. nah. Prove it to me. Prove it to me. And we always have to prove something before you go, oh, okay, yeah, I got it. Okay, oh, yeah, I'll use it. Then it becomes easy. And it's like, dude, I told you about this three years ago. Why didn't you, why didn't you listen to me then? They need to have a belief. They need to have a moment for them to go, okay, yeah, I, I can accept that now. And that was me. So that that moment for me was, um, it was it was kind of a scary one, but it was with my wife and she was in her, in her bedroom and she was having some severe abdominal pains we didn't know what they were 
and I was watching a movie. I came upstairs and it was kind of like, are you okay? And she's probably, I'm like, I'm going to call 911. He's like, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's like, give me a second. It's like, no, like every second matters when you're in that kind of pain. So it's like, okay. So we had a little, I don't know if you can see it, but we had this little container with essential oils um, right beside our bed frame. And just like, okay. So I had some carrier oil. So I grabbed the carrier oil, I squished it on my hand, it went all over me, all over the floor. I didn't care. Put some lemongrass, put some lavender. And I didn't, at that time, I didn't know, no, no about essential oils. I didn't know what it could do, how it works with the body and stuff like that. I just knew from her telling me that some of this stuff is really good. It was rubbing on her belly. And within, I don't know, 20 seconds would seem like 20 hours. <laughs> it was just like, it was crazy. The pain subsided. And it was like, that was my aha moment going, holy crap, what just happened? I need to understand more about essential oils and we need to implement this in my family like now. So that's when I started literally that next morning. It was like, I'm digging into this and no one's going to stop me. <laughs> I'm on a mission. And I learned the power of essential oils with, with you putting them on topically, taking them in internally um, and diffusing them within 20 seconds, it reaches your brain. Within two minutes, it's in your bloodstream. Within 20 minutes, it's in every cell in your body. Like wow. that is like powerful, powerful stuff. And knowing that it's in this true essential oil and the difference is now I know the difference between different essential oils where not all of them are made and created equally, which is super important as well because we had the blessing of only using doTERRA, right? We didn't, we had other people around us use other oils and like, oh, you can't take oils internally. It's like, oh, it's like, what are you talking about? Of course you can. As long as they're therapeutic grade essential oils and they're actually made distilled correctly and they don't have the synthetics, fillers and pesticides and all this other crap in them, of course you can, right? But not all oils you can take internally, like you're saying earlier on your FAQs, right? You just got to be, you, you need to know these things. And we're, we're now lucky enough that we have a very plentiful um, <laughs> large amount of essential oils in our house that we use every single day. We probably use about 15 to 20 oils a day on us. Wow. And um, it, it's, it's really I changed to our lives. Scott. So one of the cool things that, like I didn't necessarily have um, this in mind, you know, when we first started the, the live today, but I did want to ask you. So when you talk about this being in your home, right? And now obviously you've grown and you've uh, delved into it deeper and you've actually become more of a lifestyle for you. It sounds like, right? As, Absolutely. As a lifestyle. So how do you, how does someone like yourself, someone who wasn't open to it at all, right? I mean, obviously we don't want anyone to go through anything, but if let's say they're, they're curious, like what's the first step? Like it, it's giving them an experience. It's, it's giving them a small little sample of something that's going to give them that, that going, Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. That's neat. That's different. So oils like peppermint, um, breathe, lavender, um, simple oils like that, where people automatically understand like peppermint and lavender, they're probably the most popular because people understand, oh, lavender, yeah, I have lavender candles. What they don't realize is the candle that they have is like 95% chemical. Yes, it smells like lavender, but it's not lavender. You're not getting that therapeutic um, response from the actual essential oil because it's a chemical, right? And it's the same thing with a lavender essential oil that is pure. It has all these other synthetics and fillers in it. It's going to smell like lavender, but that's why you're buying lavender for like $4 at Walmart versus actually buying true lavender that is pure synthetic um, grade, if you will. And that's what the differences are. So give them, give them a small experience of something pure like lavender or peppermint and just get them put a couple drops of peppermint in their hands, rub it. You can actually put your thumb in it in the inside of the bridge of your mouth. Take a couple deep breaths with it. Cup your hands. Take a couple deep breaths, right? That's going to give them an experience like, Oh my gosh, I've never felt that before. That is really neat. And then have the peppermint if they if it wants to bring down their body temperature, right? If they have headaches, help them support these headaches. That they're all creating experience from that they've never had before because they always rush to the cabinet to grab their Tylenol bottle or their Advil or whatever it may be to help soothe that headache where we can use something that's natural, like essential oils. And there's many different essential oils that can help support um, those different headaches and head tensions and stuff like that that we can utilize that your body naturally wants to absorb. 
right? And that's a key part that I'm, that we want to talk about is your body naturally wants to absorb natural things. When your body's absorbing chemical things. Your body now has to work twice as hard to process what it needs out of that and then detox the rest of the crap out. Right. Right. So let's so, cut that part out and then give them the natural stuff. And this is what you're going to be talking about tomorrow on the health exactly. and wellness. Conference, right. So people can come Absolutely. and they can learn more. Um, I also know you're giving away an amazing, some, some goodies. We have over $500 in free gifts. Like I'm so excited. I was counting them up kind of the value. Wow. 500 bucks it's easily like a thousand i'm like yeah. this is yeah. so cool like we have some amazing speakers very um very experienced and also high professionals that i'm just i'm honored to be i'm so with. excited to hear all the speakers tomorrow yeah, yeah. me too I'm it's, so it's, happy gonna be, part of it. it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be amazing can you remind those watching now or watching the replay later what the what your free gift is um what is we're gonna have an ebook that's that you guys can have is kind of the intro to essential oils um, basically understand the basics of and what we can do with it. And then from there, we can get into um, the other part of the free gift is a 30 minute free con consultation with that person um, or their family, which would be even better if they wanted to do that. That's cool. Because Super cool. Wow. typically within a family, it's not just one person. You want to actually have the family together saying, okay, what are your experiences? What are, what's going on? Because if you can, if you're diffusing peppermint, wild orange and say tangerine or whatever it may be, or, peppermint, lemon, and lavender, and you're going to having some seasonal issues, right? That's going to affect the whole family, which we can now help support the whole family very easily just by diffusing some certain things, right? And then topically putting some things on them so that it could affect the whole family very, very easily. So yeah, so free 30 minutes and the free ebook. Cool. It's going to be so fun. <laughs> so, so excited. Awesome. Well, I'm so happy that we had this time today and I know it was, it was very, spontaneous and I love it. And for, for anybody watching, know that we have classes. Scott and I are putting a schedule together and um, it was literally 2 a.m. one night and I couldn't sleep. And I was like, I'm like, that's what I created. And he's like, oh my God. I mean, I didn't create it. I can't take all the credit for it. It was kind of there, but I gathered the template and I brought it over and I personalized it a little bit. That's why we get along so well. <laughs> yes, absolutely. We're both like little ninjas. You know? Are you still <laughs> awake? Of course I am. Doing the same thing you are. <laughs> <laughs> I know. How could you imagine that I was sleeping at 3 a.m.? <laughs> it's not what normal um, people do. <laughs> I know, right? It's too awesome. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, my pleasure, Scott. I'm so happy that, that we get to do this together, and I can't wait for tomorrow. So thanks exactly. for being here. And Appreciate thank you, everyone, for, for watching. If you're watching the replay, you know, hashtag replay. And of course, hashtag peaceful pivot, peaceful pivot. Yeah. Peaceful pivot. I love it. Health and wellness conference. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining and have an amazing Friday and an awesome day. Thanks guys. Bye everyone. Bye.